Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. My name's Michelle and for today's video, let's talk about my 2022 luxury wish list. So on my wish list right now, I do have around eight items and they range from like handbags to shoes to jewelry um, and some accessories too. Don't be surprised, I actually don't have anything on my list right now from Louis Vuitton, but these earrings that I'm wearing right now, I did buy them just a couple of weeks ago and these weren't on my wish list, but they were a new release. So as things come out, I might add things to my wish list. So yeah, these are just some things that I have been eyeing and yeah um, let's go ahead and jump right into this video all right so let's go ahead and start off with the handbags first so number one and these don't come in any particular order um, just first thing on my list is this one right over here it's the Celine nano luggage handbag in the smooth calfskin leather and I just really love this handbag because it could be worn as a top handle bag and also a shoulder crossbody bag. I really do like the other type of leather that they offer, which is the drummed calfskin leather. But the thing is, with that bag, it only comes with silver hardware and it doesn't come in gold hardware with a drum calfskin. Um, let me know if I'm wrong because if they do have a drummed calfskin leather, with gold hardware i would really much more prefer that um but yeah i only saw the smooth calfskin leather with gold hardware um but yeah i would love this bag for every day it's super perfect and i just need a small black handbag in my collection so the second thing that's on my wish list is this one here from dior you guys know it this one is the dior saddlebag and i absolutely love it if i were to get one I would get the one in the color latte and as you can kind of see the Celine Nano luggage was black and then this one here is a cream color handbag which I do need also in my collection and when I was in Greece actually um, I saw a lot of people with the saddlebag and this is where I kind of like loved it so much more um, but yeah I just love how you could wear this one as a shoulder bag and it's such a unique shape um, I do need to go to the store to just try it on so I just have only seen it like visually but I haven't tried it on yet um, but let me know what you guys think about the saddle bag because I do think it's really unique and it's such a pretty bag um, but yeah let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below if you guys have it in your collection. So the third thing on my wish list, and again in no particular order, is this Celine Cotton Drill Baseball Cap in black. And this retails for $395 and this one is definitely a want and not a need. I just really want like um, one hat that I can just wear for like every day. Um, before I was really eyeing like the Balenciaga hat, but when I saw that this one came out, I'm much more drawn to this one than that one. And um, I was trying to get it, but I saw recently that it's been out of stock, but it hasn't came back in stock recently. Um, I also don't have like a Celine near me. I live in San Diego, so we don't have a Celine store here. Um, yeah, but if you have any recommendations on how I could get it, um, I would just love to have this hat for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> so the next thing on my wish list are these sneakers from Dior, and these ones are the Dior B23 High Top high top sneakers and I just love the look of these um, I did see them in person in Greece and that's also kind of where I really fell in love with them a little bit more um, so yeah the B23 sneakers I just yeah I just need to have them so the next thing on my wish list are these loafers from Prada and these ones are called the chocolate brushed leather loafers they retail for $995 um, but I absolutely love them I feel like they will complete um, a lot of different looks and um, the only one thing that kind of worries me is that I do have wide feet so I'm not sure if these will work out for me entirely I do need to go to the store and try them on but yeah these loafers um yeah i feel like once styled right they really just could complete any look the last pair of shoes on my wish list are these ones here from chanel and they are the espadrilles and these ones are the lambskin in the beige and black 
These have been on my wish list for so long too, and um, I thought I was going to get them last year, but I decided to go with the Louis Vuitton shoes instead. Um, but yes, I love these ones and I feel like they would be perfect for um, casual outfits and um, they are much different too than the Louis Vuitton timeout sneakers and also the Dior B23. So if I could add this one in my collection this next year, I feel like these would also last me a really long time as well. I just looked at the website down too and they say that they retail for $800. I think they went up in price. Um, so yeah. So the last two items on my wish list are actually jewelry from Cartier and the first item is of course the Cartier love bracelet and I would love it in the yellow gold. Um, you guys know that I do have this one right over here. Um, it's the love ring um, and it's also in the yellow gold as well. Um, but yeah, I would just love to have the bracelet to match because it's so beautiful um, and also real gold as well. Um, the price though, it's really hefty for the bracelet. I mean right now, I don't even think that includes the price increase that's coming like within two weeks or so. But right now, it's $6,900 and you can buy like real gold that's not Cartier for much cheaper than that. And yeah, that's why it's called a wish list for a reason. So the last item I have on my wish list currently is this one also from Cartier. And this is the Justin Clou um, ring from Cartier. And I would love to have it in the um, smaller, like the thinner version versus the normal. Um, and also in yellow gold too. And I just love how unique this ring is. And um, if I were to get it, um, I think I would wear it on my index finger right over here next to my engagement. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this one and can wear it on like different fingers. Um, but yeah, that is basically my 2022 luxury wish list. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised too that I don't have any Louis Vuitton. But again, as they have like new releases, I probably will add some things to my wish list. Um, but yeah manifesting all of these items this year and let's see what i decide to get i hope you guys are having a great day and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>